Welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. Woohoo! Right Friday, Felici Friday. How is everybody doing today? It's a beautiful love, the sun shining. Oh my gosh, it's such a gorgeous day today. So good day for a road trip. We're actually heading to Muskegon later on today. Cade, my son, uh, plays in his second basketball game at, can you guys see my Hope College at, um, well, it's not at Hope, it's in Muskegon, but um, second um, game, his second college basketball game. He is on the JV team at Hope College. And so we've been having some fun. We went last weekend down to Benton Harbor, actually, which is kind of a ways away from Alma. Um, anyway, and they played um, down there, I guess Saturday, we went down and watched him play. So that was awesome. They did not win. They actually, um, a number of kids on the varsity team are hurt right now, a couple of the centers. So they brought up their two tallest kids from the JV team um, to the varsity team. So they were without a center, which I think they definitely could have used. Um, didn't get many rebounds, uh, just, you know, not as much height as the other team. So anyway, it was a fun game, his first game. So it was fun to watch um, and just happy to be able to go to basketball games, right? Without any restrictions. I guess we did wear masks, which I'm totally fine with, but you know, there were no restrictions on the number of people um, that could be in there with us. So that was awesome. So yeah, um, let's see. So what else do we, I've got so much good stuff to share with you guys. Um, let's see there. Hello, Teresa. I'm like waiting because I'm all of a sudden I'm like, I'm not seeing many names pop up and I'm like, did I go on the right live on the right um, Facebook group? <laughs> I got worried that I wasn't on the right thing somehow. So but good. Okay. Hello, Teresa. Good. I'm glad I'm seeing some names pop on now. So okay. Awesome. All right, so let's see, what do, what do I wanna share with you guys first? Well, let's see, so we actually are gonna make some super cute um, gift card holders today. It's like kind of, um, right, quickly approaching once it's like getting close to Thanksgiving, everybody starts thinking about Christmas also, right? So um, especially like in my case and a lot of people's cases, right? If you have teenagers, all they want is cash so they can go get exactly what they want. So if we're gonna make some fun gift card holders to put the cash or the gift cards in um, so we can still package it up super cute and have some fun playing with our fun um, products um, and actually it's really easy shopping too isn't it so um, let me show you actually I'm gonna flip in the catalog because I have used so much we are gonna use the gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper and then actually some of the other products in the suite so here is the full suite of products um, a bunch of super cute examples of things that you could make with the gingerbread and peppermint suite right and then here is the designer series paper i love this paper i have to order some more before it sells out right this is the time of year now when um things are going to start selling out from the um the mini catalog the holiday mini catalog so make sure you get what you want out of this mini catalog before um things start selling out right um i am sure that they have um announced what's retiring and i poked around the other day on the stampin up website just yesterday and i it wasn't quick and easy for me to find i, I didn't have a lot of time to look and so now it's driving me crazy because i'm sure i saw something mentioned somewhere and i need to figure out where it is posted i might even just call stampin up because i have to call them about a couple of other things so i'm like maybe i'm just going to ask um, because I'm sure they've given us the list of the things that are, you know, a lot of things will retire from this January, or excuse me, the July to December mini catalog. So I guess my point is just make sure you get what you want out of this catalog. I would do it sooner than later just to make sure you don't miss out on anything that you know you just can't live without, right? So, okay, so yeah, we're going to have some fun making those cute little gift card holders. In the meantime, I want to make sure everybody knows about our awesome starter kit deal right now you get to pick 125 dollars in product hello susan and you only pay 75 dollars plus tax i think what did i figure that out so in michigan with our six percent sales tax 
you pay $79.50, you get $125 worth of product. If you were to actually put an order in for $125, plus tax, plus shipping, you are saving over $66. So it's almost like 50% off, right? You're only paying $79.50 and you're saving like $66. Thank you for the share, Susan. I appreciate that too. Um, so yeah, awesome starter kit deal right now. You could become a part of our Inkspired Stampers team. We have this awesome group of beautiful, wonderful, fabulous ladies that we get together every single month for our group meeting. If you're not local, we do it on a Facebook Live also, so you can still participate and be a part of things. We have a whole separate Facebook group where we do um, business challenges and creative challenges, um, some sharing if anybody ever wants to post anything that they're making in terms of projects, they can post it on there. Anybody is welcome to post pictures of projects that they have made right here on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, which I love to see um, the sharing, the projects that you guys are making. So I completely encourage you to do that anytime. Um, and I'm sure many of you think, oh, what I do isn't worthy of being posted on Facebook, which is absolutely not the case. Everyone kind of has a different style and works at a different level, and we love to see all types of stamping. It's inspiring for every single one of us, especially those that feel that way when they see other people posting and sharing. And you know, you don't have to have like over-the-top projects. Super simple, cute projects are wonderful to see. We love to see the over-the-top projects too. Um, but yeah, we just love to see what you guys are up to. So we'd love to have you share anytime on this Facebook group. And then like I said, with our team, we do um, sharing over on our team Facebook group also. Hello, Kay, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Glad everybody's popping on now. I know it's been kind of weird because I've been doing like kind of about like every other Friday um, with Facebook Lives. Things have just, um, my other work has gotten super busy. Thanks for sharing too, Kay. Um, and so I've just kind of, it's been easier to manage my other work getting crazier and then stamping up stuff um, if I don't do it every single Friday. So I, with that being said, I'm pretty sure, hello Philomena, I am gonna be doing Facebook Live next Friday after Thanksgiving, so watch for that because the following Friday, um, a friend of mine that lives in Chicago has talked me into doing, uh, hello Linda, she's talked me into doing a craft fair with her. So Lily and I are heading over to Chicago. That's like two, I guess two, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm doing the math on that. It's like two Fridays from today. We'll be heading to Chicago. So I know I won't be doing a Facebook Live at the very beginning of December. So I am like probably like 90% positive I'm gonna do a Facebook Live next Friday um, after Thanksgiving. So, and that's kind of a fun time to do it because a lot of people maybe take that Friday off after Thanksgiving. And so we get to have new friends that aren't normally able to be with us um, be a part of our Facebook Live. So watch for that. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing yet at this point, but I will be getting that figured out very shortly. Um, I'm sure we'll have lots more cute projects to share with you guys next Friday also. So um, let's see, why don't we go ahead? You guys are all, thank you, Philomena, for sharing. You guys are all doing a great job of sharing the Facebook Live video. Um, it is super bright. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to figure out if um, I'm already like, I can't move my table yet. I have to wait until <laughs> it feels like I'm like, I'm anyway, like this weird lighting in here, but you guys can still see me, so I think we're okay. Um, and I will not complain about the sun in the winter time because we get so little of it around here that I will absolutely not complain about having a beautiful sunny day. Um, but it does kind of affect the lighting a little bit. So, um, okay. So we are going to give away for sharing. Thank you. Oh, good. I'm glad you like those cards, Linda. Yes, they were beautiful, weren't they? That kind of gray, white, black and white theme. It, it took me a little while to warm up to that designer series paper, but once I did, oh my gosh, I absolutely love that paper now. And then I think kind of adding um, the sparkly, like the silver foil paper to it too, just kind of adds like a fun sparkle to it also. So, And then there's like fun sparkle on the designer series paper. Plus that stamp set is super cute and I love those dies to those dies that we used on that class to go and in that PDF are super versatile too because you can use them with so many different sentiments, right? It doesn't have to be just be like holiday. They actually feature those dies with um, more of like an all occasion stamp set in the annual catalog too. So beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed those, Linda. 
Okay, so we are going to give away the, oh yeah, there, now, there we go, there's the glare. So the opal rounds are what we're going to give away, and actually you can really see as the sun hits them, the opalescentness of these um, opal rounds. You get all the pretty kind of pastel faceted colors in there too. So, okay, your name is in here. Again, thank you for sharing the video. Anyone that's sharing this video, your name will be in next Friday's Facebook Live. In the meantime, anybody that shared our last Facebook Live, oops, I got a couple of them stuck together. I always have to pull them all apart, make sure everybody gets a fair chance. Um, yeah, your name is in here if you shared the Facebook Live video, or if you're new to me and haven't signed up for my email list, if you did that between our last Facebook Live and last night when I prepped for Facebook Live, uh, your name is in here also. And I had a number of new people sign up for my email list too, which that um, link to do that is always above this Facebook Live video after we get it posted today. I will update all the details on there. Lots of links on there. The host code is on there. Oh my gosh, there are a bunch of them like all stuck together. I gotta pull them apart. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so lots of details above this Facebook Live video after we get it posted. So if you come back um, after we're done with the live, then I'll get everything uploaded and posted there too, all the links and everything. So everything that I talk about today, if you wanna know where to find more details, there will be links um, shared after we're done with Facebook Live. Okay, so here we go. I'm tossing these around and making sure they're not stuck together. And we have one piece of paper in my hand, yes, Trying to make sure. And it goes to, oh, so Miss Nancy Gibson Johnson, who is new to my email list. Actually, I just put her name in last night. So Nancy, um, I'm gonna check your email list sign up. Sometimes people give me their address. If you did not and you're watching this video, make sure you um, send me a private message with your um, address and I will get the opal round sent out to you. Man, that is a bad glare. Okay. All right, I'm gonna dump those out. We gotta get the names in for the next drawing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes, you guys are all so sweet. Yes, Nancy, and it's so fun. I love, um, there's something about seeing like new people sign up for my email list, because I'm like, oh, they found me somehow, and they were excited about things. So it's kind of like a, a nice compliment when I get um, new email list signups, because I think, okay, they, they want to know what's, what's going on with us. So that's fun for me too. So thank you for signing up for my email list also. And like I said, so on our next Facebook Live, we will be giving away, and I just saw these are like on back order. You can't even get them now for a while. So I'm like super excited to be able to have an extra package to share with you guys. The holiday rhinestones. I love these. I think it's because um, they're all the same size um, and a bunch of different colors. So they're very versatile. Actually, they're not all the same size, are they? Most of them are though. So they're, I, I just really like them. I don't know. I think they're super versatile because of all the different colors and they're not I don't know, they're about, they're about the same size. I guess there's like mostly one and a couple of a medium and a couple of a large. Anyway, I don't know, there's just something about these. They're, they are called holiday rhinestones, but I've used them all year round and I've been very happy that they have been available this whole year also. So like I said, they're on back order though. So the only way you can get them right now is if you share the Facebook Live video or sign up for my email list. So make sure you do that and we'll do the drawing next Friday for those holiday rhinestones, okay? All right, so let's see. Oh, have to give a huge congratulations to one of our newer Inkspired Stampers members, Miss Maria Warren, just promoted to Bronze Elite this month, like just recently in November. So we wanna give a huge congratulations to Maria. This means, so, when you buy the starter kit, you get the awesome starter kit deal. You get 20% off of your orders. When you promote to Bronze Elite, you actually start getting a 25% discount or earning 25% income on all of your orders. So that's an awesome accomplishment. The other cool thing is she did it super fast, which means she earned the second quick start level. This is something, kind of an incentive that Stampin' Up! has. When you buy the starter kit, if you put $1,800 in sales in within your first full six months, they consider that reaching your second quick start level and they give you a $100 product credit. So you can use that for whatever you would like. So Maria will see that on her next demonstrator order. She'll have a $100 product credit from Stampin' Up! that she can use. It's like a woohoo, congratulations on promoting to Bronze Elite. 
In addition, through me and for my Inkspired stampers in my first, second, and third levels, I love to recognize promotions as well. So I give this beautiful, it's a charm, well not that big, but it's a like a circle charm necklace and I put a couple of charms in there. So everyone um, that is an Inkspired stamper that is promoting through the levels, they all get to wear their charm necklaces. We like to wear them to our meetings each month. And then as well, she gets to pick um, $50 in free product through me as well. So just for getting to Bronzy Lee as an Inkspired Stamper and doing it within the first six months, you get $100 from Stampin' Up! and then you get a $50 shopping spree from me also. So lots of incentives to um, get in there, start selling, buying, whatever the combination of things is. And then obviously even better is that 25% discount that she receives on all of her orders now. So congratulations to Maria. We're very, very excited for you in your Stampin' Up! journey here with us with the Inkspired Stampers. So congratulations. It's very awesome. Love to see um, people working hard and taking advantage of the discount too, right? Because that $1,800, she got a 20% discount or income on all of that also. So good, good stuff. And if anybody has any questions about that, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to, you know, I talk super fast sometimes because I feel like I always have so much I want to share that if that confuses anybody or you want more details or want a clarification, just let me know. I'm happy to talk through things with you also. So the other thing I want to do is share. So just this week, we had our Inkspired Stampers team meeting, which is always the third Tuesday of every month. So we had some fun swaps that people made, and I want to share those with you guys. So now I'm going to try to remember who made all of these swaps. This first one is so cute. I love all the coloring that she did. This was um, Diana Boone made this card. So isn't this so, oh my gosh, that glare craziness. There we go. Isn't that so cute? So she did lots and lots of coloring, which at first I was like, whoa, wow, that's a lot of coloring. But you know, we used this stamp set um, in our meeting the previous month and had so much fun with the coloring actually. So this is beautiful. And this is one of my favorites, that real red sheer ribbon, love that ribbon. And then I think this is some paper, um, from the Gingerbread and Peppermint Designer Series paper also. Wow. Well, I have to get in like just the right light there so there's not a glare, but very cute. Love that swap. And then this one was really fun too. So Nancy Gulick, if we can get it in the right light there. Nancy made this one. Oh, it's super washed out. Um, yeah, because this is actually black and white polka dot, which it looks more gray, doesn't it? Maybe I'll show these again when I flip the camera down real quick because we might have better lighting. But I loved, it was like black and white with a pop of color, right? So she used some of the designer series paper from um, Celebration. Gosh, you really, there we go. And then here's that Peaceful Prince, I think, designer series paper. She just punched um, right out of the designer series paper. So that one was beautiful. Then this one, Jenny made. Okay, there we go. So she's got this super cute, the little snowman. Love this stamp set. And look at, she cut the little snowman's head like he's, it's popping off there. Thought that was super fun too. And she did some coloring on that one as well. And then this one Sunday made, and this is actually one of our paper pumpkin um, <clears throat> projects from, we're in November, so this had to be October's paper pumpkin. So these cards were super cute. I think everybody really loved this particular kit. There were these cards, and then I think it was another set of cards, and I can't remember because I only got that one, but she had them both there. I just can't remember what the other one looked like because I have yet to put my paper pumpkin kit together because that happens like that sometimes. And then this one is from Charlene. And isn't this cute? It's almost like origami, right? With the way that she's folded the paper. And this is um, some of our holiday designer series paper. Totally drawing a blank on the name on that one. But she used one of the beautiful embossing folders there too with the snowflakes also. So some great swaps there too. So that's another fun, fun thing I should mention is not all of these people are local either. So for example, if you're a long distance Inkspired stampers, Stamper, you can make your swaps, you mail them to me, I um, swap them with everybody at our team meeting and then mail them back to you. So even if you're long distance, you can still participate in our swapping, which is very, very cool, I think. Um, what else do I wanna show you guys? 
Oh, so another fun thing that I like to do, um, lots of incentives and just to make people aware, honestly, I have something called the $600 Club, which basically means each month I look at, hello, Lori, you're back, right, from your trip. I'm excited to hear um, how the trip went. Um, so yeah, every month I look at, um, at the end of the month, who had sales of more than $600 in the month, which the fun thing about that is Stampin' Up! actually awards an additional commission if you reach $600 in sales in a month they um, award additional commission and it depends on how much over $600 the percentage that you get of your sales but they basically give you like a little bonus and pop it into your checking account at the beginning of the following month so in order to make sure everybody is super aware of that, I also have what I call the $600 club. So it's kind of a good like, oh, okay, if, I, if I'm close, especially, you know, looking at reports of somebody who's at like $550 in sales, bump it up to $600 because then you get that extra bonus from Stampin' Up! and you get to be into the $600 club for the month, which when you did that in, yeah, we're in October, I just mailed these out to everybody. You get the brushed metallic adhesive dots, which were also on back order for quite a while. So I stocked up on them and was able to give these to people that were in the $600 club this month also. So so just love to give like a fun little um, embellishment as a congratulations for making it into the $600 club for it being in my Inkspired Stampers group. So just so you guys know that um, it's not for orders, although honestly, if you were to give me $600 in orders, I would... <laughs> I would do lots of really nice things for you um, to say thank you, but you wouldn't want to do that. If you had that much you wanted to order, you would want to get the starter kit and get your 20% discount on all of that too. So yeah. All right. Um, let me see what's next. Oh, I have to show you the make and takes that we made. Hello, Cindy. Thanks for joining us. Um, the make and takes that we made at our meeting this month. Um, having in mind that I'm going to be doing a craft fair, I thought these were super fun projects. And my daughter, Lily, is always a lovely assistant for me and helps me um, do punching and die cutting and that sort of thing. So we did these for the make and takes. And I'm gonna show you them in just a sec. I had extra um, left over and I was like, oh, we're gonna make some more of these for the craft fair that we're gonna do in a couple weeks. So I was like, hey, Lily. <laughs> and she saw, she saw all the stuff like sitting out, all the punches and dies and everything. And she was like, oh, I knew you were gonna ask me to do more of those. So she's a very good sport though about it. So she's a super helper. Um, so this is what we made. These are the little make and takes and then like, what are we gonna do? Should we do our, let's do our next drawing. I think that we're at that point, yeah, because I'm gonna flip the camera down. Um, yeah, okay, so we are gonna do our drawing. So you guys know, or if you don't and you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure that you do know this, that. Okay, so when you put an order in through me and use the host code that again is in the details above this Facebook Live video, I'll get that uploaded um, after we finish the live today. It's always, the details always above the Facebook Live videos, like I said, give you links and that host code too. So put an online order in, use the host code. If you spend at least $30, you get the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, which happened to be these two beautiful cards featuring that um, Gardens Eden or Eden's Garden, I can't remember which way it is, but these two cards that we made on our last Facebook Live, you get these as a thank you from me. You also get your name in the drawing for this Heartfelt Wishes stamp set right here. So I have a number of people took advantage too of the sale that we had um, this week. It was uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So a number of online orders came in to take advantage of that sale. So if they spend at least $30, their name is in the drawing to win that Heartfelt Wishes stamp set. And if they bumped their order up to $50, they also get to pick from the, gosh, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. 16 projects in here. These are gift tags and tie-ons. You're not gonna be able to see a darn thing in this light, but you guys can kind of get the idea, right? Lots of details. Oh my gosh, there's a cute tag in there. I have apparently not looked through this very well, so I'm gonna have to go back through it myself. Anyway, um, pictures, details, exactly how to put everything together, all the products that you need to make those things. You can pick from that PDF tutorial or the free embellishment for this month, which is the holiday rhinestones, which I love. Like I said, I already said that, right? I love those rhinestones. Um, so yeah, let's do our drawing now. 
okay? So for the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set, again, if you put an online order in of at least $30 and use that host code, your name is in here. Okay, so we have, let's see, one lucky winner, and I'm like, ah, shaking them all around. Like I said, I always have to make sure that they're all, no, none of them are stuck together. Okay, and I have one in my hand, and it goes to Miss Shirley Mordyke. Oh my gosh, there we go. Now we can get into view. So Shirley, you are the proud new owner of the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set. I will get that sent out to you. So congratulations. Okay, scooting those out of the way. So let me show you guys what we are going to give away on our next Facebook Live. So next Friday, when we do Facebook Live, if you put an online order in of at least $30 and use this month's host code, which you can also find on my blog, if you're like, where the heck is that host code? Go to Gathering Inc. with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. You'll see that host code. It's always there on that far right-hand side. We're gonna give away the Welcoming Woods stamp set. This has been a super favorite stamp set this holiday fall season, right? So let me read you the sentiments. We've got, thank you for your kindness. Hello, friend. Celebrate. Every, sing, every season brings its own wonder. Oh, that's awesome, right? Happy birthday. Good luck on your new adventure and best wishes. And then they've got some little snowflakes and I was going to say birds, but that's not right. Those are like falling leaves. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> your mind can play tricks on you, right? Do those look like birds at first? They kind of did, didn't they? <laughs> and then the woods, right? Okay, so, all right, let me check my notes because I think um, we are going to turn the camera down because it's just such a glare, craziness, but okay, I think we're good. The only other thing I will mention is that, and I have mentioned this before, but I have a ton of handmade cards. I need to get, I think I've got some Christmas cards out there now, but if you need, if you're like, oh my gosh, you know, you love to paper craft, everybody does, but sometimes you just need a quick card, um, let me know, right? If you don't have time to put something together, I have a billion, I feel like truly like a billion handmade cards, tons and tons of different holiday cards. And then I've got birthday, thank you, thinking of you, congratulations, baby baby, um, love, anniversary, like it kind of runs the gamut. So I've got a bunch of cards outside on my porch. If you're local, you can come shop anytime. I sell the handmade cards. Uh, they're $4 each or three for $10. They are in our clear envelopes. So you get the card and you get an envelope and then they're all packaged in a clear envelope. So they are protected even from the elements. You can um, shop anytime. I don't mind. You come whenever it's convenient for you and just um, shop away out there. Um, or if you're long distance and you have an idea of something that you're looking for, let me know because I'm happy to ship cards to you also. Okay. So, all right. Um, let's see. Let me grab. I'm going to find my host code here. I'm going to put that down there. Okay. So we are going to, um, I think we're going to have to move the table too. Well, we'll see. I don't know. This glare is crazy. It's really bad up here. So, okay, turn your heads away for a sec. Flying through the air. Okay. <clears throat> Let's flip it down and see. Yeah, there's kind of a lot, a lot going on here, isn't there? So we are going to, let me make sure I've got this. Ooh, it gets worse before it gets better. <laughs> I don't think that helped. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> if you guys could see how far I had to drag this table to try not to have the glare, and I've still got something over here, but I think we're, I think we're pretty good. We're going to call this good. Okay, so here's the host code that you can use this month to get your name in the drawing. Here's the welcoming wood stamp set again, right? I have to show you guys these. Again, too, these were the make and takes because I think they're just so cute, right? So there, now you can maybe see them without the glare, right? So those are kind of fun, right? Uh, let me show you. I know what else I want to just make sure to share with you guys is because today is the last day for the class to go, the thinking thanks and peace class to go. So you guys know, generally, we make four cards in my class to go. Well, actually eight. So we make four different cards and then two of each of them. So I'm going to show you the cards real quick, and then I'll tell you about the different options 
that are available because today's the last day. So if you're interested, please let me know. I'd love to get one of these beautiful to-go kits sent out to you. And hello, Marsha. Thank you for watching today. Okay, so it features, again, the Thinking Thanks and Peace stamp set, which is a great, you've got this beautiful and big, bold, right? Uh, sending thanks, thinking of you, peace on earth, and the little boo with the little... Um, the little, what's that? He's called a ghost. <laughs> okay, so these are the cards. So again, you get all the parts and pieces to make two of this Thinking of You card. We've got another Thinking of You because I can always use more of those. We have this one, Peace on Earth. You could change that to be a Thinking of You also if you don't need Christmas cards. And then we've got this one, which is Ascending Thanks. So four beautiful cards. Option number one, you get the stamp set. We actually used Wink of Stella, which you completely cannot see, especially in this glare, but it just kind of adds a little sparkle. I did it, I used it on all of these sentiments here. Um, what else? We You get the opal rounds, you get the glittered organdy ribbon, and you get a quarter pack of my most favorite, that Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper. You, let's see, you get actually the designer series paper for free in option number one, and you also get to pick a free celebration item with option number one. I still have a few celebration items left, so you order option number one and you can pick a free celebration item with that. Uh, so let's see, option number one is $65. Option number two is if you already have the Thinking Thanks and Peace stamp set, make sure you have the stamp set because you have to do your own stamping, right? You get the Wink of Stella, the Opal Rounds, and the Glittered Organdy Ribbon, plus, oh, I forgot to mention, in both option number one and number two, you get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put all of those projects together, okay? Um, option number two is $43. If you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $9 priority mail shipping. And man, the shipping charges just keep going up and up and up. It's hard to keep up with <laughs> the rates for all of the shipping these days. Um, if not, you can you can obviously just pick it up on the porch and then the shipping fee is waived. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that just tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together. You're going to do it all on your own. My uh, demo, excuse me, my Inkspired Stampers team actually gets the PDF tutorials for free every single month. And then option number four is also for my Inkspired Stampers. They can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces. I send them everything they need, the ribbon, the DSP, the opal rounds, um, all the parts and pieces. They just need their own stamp set to do their own stamping. I do the die cutting too. Um, this one actually doesn't come with dies. A lot of times um, the class to go kits do come with dies. Uh, so let's see, option number four is $12 for the make and takes for my download. Today is the last day to RSVP, so if you're interested, please let me know. I will include the link for this class to go above the details to this Facebook Live video, so you can check that out if I talked too fast and you want to refresh your memory on anything I said. But let me know if you have any questions, okay? All right, I think we are ready. Are you guys ready to do some stamping? I know I am. Okay. And I have to move this because this glare is just still bugging me. So we're going to move the table. There we go. <laughs> I think we're finally out of the glare zone. All right. So now I need to make sure you guys can see what we're doing. I need a quick sip of water. Mm. Okay. So like I said, <clears throat> Gift card holders, we always need more of these, right? So this first one, my downline, Sunday Ostrander, brought one of these cute little gift card holders to our team meeting. And I thought, oh my gosh, it was so cute. I think she actually put designer series paper on the back too. I opted not to do that, but I put this cute little tag on here too. And then I put a, a white backing on it so that you could write a little something on the back there also. Okay. And this it would just slide off like this and then it just opens up and then you can put your gift card holder right inside there. So super just cute, simple, easy, but I love of kind of the look of it, right? Okay, so let me show you guys and love this designer series paper too. That is part of the gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper pack. Okay, so let me tell you how we're gonna make this one. Let's see, I wanna grab, I need my scoring plate first. So let's scoot this over here a little bit more. I wanna make sure, okay, now we're in view, right? You guys can see where I'm gonna score. Okay, I gotta grab my notes so I don't, make a mess of anything. So here we go along there. We're going to go that way. So 
let me actually tell you, this piece measures six inches by five and a half inches. So you just need a piece of cardstock that's six inches by five and a half inches. I will also upload all of the details for these projects that I make on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So if you need to know measurements, um, uh, product codes, colors, anything that you need to order to make these projects or um, just make them, right? Then you've got all the details there on my blog. Okay, so along the six inch side, we are gonna score, the first one is at one and three quarters, and then we're checking my notes, and then also at four and three eighths, okay? So again, one and three quarters and four and three eighths on the six inch side. And then along the five inch side, we're gonna score it at seven eighths of an inch and four and five eighths, okay? So again, seven eighths and four and five eighths. And that's it, okay? So very simple. All right, next we are, and I'll show you kind of so you can get the idea, right? So we're gonna cut these four corners off, okay? Let's, we're gonna kind of fold along all of our score lines. I think it makes it a little bit easier to cut. So now again, we're gonna cut off these four corners right here, okay? So you can see how simple these are, but so cute, right? Um, things don't have to be complicated, I don't think, to be cute, right? Okay, so let's see. Hello, Miss K. Welcome. Okay, here. There's something about I always have to cut on this corner. <laughs> the bottom right corner is where I am most comfortable cutting. I can't like do it on the left hand side, so I have to keep like flipping my paper until <laughs> till I've got it in the bottom right corner. And then I'm comfortable cutting. Okay, so there. So that's what it's gonna start like right there, okay? Now we wanna round all the corners because doesn't it look so much more like professional with the corners rounded than straight? There's just something about that, ladies. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna take our little corner rounder punch and we're gonna punch each of these. And there and there, and we're gonna do this one. And then we're gonna do this one, okay? Now, the trick for these, because I was trying to put that in there and like that's getting caught, it wouldn't, wouldn't work very well for me. So you have to fold that over. And then, so this one just takes a little bit more kind of shimmying into place. You'll feel it when you get it there, okay? And then we're gonna do this one. And they do line up with those little edges right there also when you get it. And sometimes maybe, there we go, okay? All right, so then we're gonna fold this one in. We're gonna do the same thing on these. There's that one there. And then there's that one there. Okay, all right. So doesn't that, I just, there's something about that corner rounding. Diana, hello. I'm making, this is, um, if you were with us, you were, um, on Tuesday at our Inkspired Stampers meeting, Sunday shared a gift card holder. And um, so I'm recreating it here on Facebook Live because I thought they were so, it's funny because I had the idea, so that's actually our creative challenge for this month for our Inkspired Stampers is to make gift card holders and share them on our Facebook group. And I really wanted to make them on Facebook Live also so that we'd have lots of ideas um, for gift card holders for the holidays, right? Okay, so next I actually, this one is actually gonna go on the inside right here, but then these two, I know they're awesome, right? Aren't they, Diana? These two are going to go on the outside flaps. So one flap is a little bit bigger. So this one on the top is a little bit bigger than this one on the bottom. So my sister's calling. She forgets I'm doing Facebook Live. We had a change in plans. Um, Cade's game was supposed to be, we thought it was at four o'clock. That's what was communicated to us. So we all had this plan of when we were going to get together and leave. My sister and niece are coming. And then last night, Cade texted me saying, guess what? Our game is at 7.30 now instead. So <laughs> it was the, and like literally he texted me, I think it was like 9.30 last night. So the whole like, oh my gosh, okay, now we got to like change all of our plans. Because um, I have another niece that lives in Grand Rapids area that 
is going to meet us. So anyway, we'll get it all figured out. But it's one of those like, oh my gosh, now half the day today is going to be spent rearranging <laughs> our plans. Okay, so while I was talking, I just punched the bottoms basically. So you just have to do one end, right? I don't want to do the tops because you can see right there. So those are square and then these are rounded. And same thing, square on the bottom and rounded there. Okay, so now did I... Yeah, okay, we're good. All of a sudden I'm like, do I need another piece? Okay, so we're gonna add our adhesive. I don't think that got, there's that one. And we're gonna do this one. Okay, and this feels so sticky. We're gonna use this one. <laughs> I was trying to pull the other one off, but that one's already added on. Okay, here we go. So we are going to, mm, that's going to be the top. I don't know if it really matters. My other one, my, my diagonals were going different directions. On this one, I think they're all going to be going the same way. It was just how I cut the paper. But I didn't mind it that they were going different directions. Mm. Sorry. That's like the nitpicky in me. That was like off a little bit, it felt like. Okay, and then we'll do this one right here. Did I tell you guys, I think I forgot to give you dimensions for these designer series paper pieces. These, okay, this one right here is two and three eighths by three and a half. This one is one and three eighths by three and a half. And then this one is one and a half by three and a half. And I will include those measurements on my blog too, okay? Because I forgot, usually I kind of tell you about those. Okay, so. This is kind of it right here, right? So there's our gift card. And I like how it kind of curled a little bit. I don't want to make it super flat. I kind of liked that it curled up just a little bit. And then you'll open it up, put your gift card holder in there. So now we are going to grab our real red sheer ribbon. This, because I think because this ribbon is so easy to work with, so easy to tie, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna tie our bow here. Now it won't be easy because I'm on Facebook Live because I said that, right? Now typically it's very easy for me to work with. Okay, it's not too bad, right? And I don't even mind if it's kind of going all over the place, right? <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so there's our bow. Now we just need to, we're gonna use this little tag, super cute little baby tag. This is from, let me grab, from our pretty pillow box dies. This little tag is from the, so I already pulled it out. But again, whoops, upside down. The pretty pillow box dies is what we're using and just that cute little tag. So we're gonna just punch out, just cause I thought it added a little something to the um, gift card. And then also we did one in white on the back um, so that you could write a little something on there too. Okay, all right, so we're gonna just have to crank this through a couple times. So I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine. Let's scoot these guys out of the way, right? Okay, all right, so you guys can see, right? Okay, so we'll do the white one first. This is one I wish I had two sets of dies, <laughs> or I probably could have cut one already, right? But boy. I didn't think about that last night when I finished up this project. Whoops. Okay, that's right. Because isn't it so cute? Look at that little tag, and it even makes that snazzy little hole right there for you. Okay, and then our designer series paper. And I just had to kind of, um, I don't, it, it's funny because I, I look at it like I want to line it up, and then I'm like, I don't know that it ever actually is um, like super symmetrical. <laughs> which is okay. I spent a lot of time last night and I think I was bleary eyed because it was a long day at work. Anyway, okay, so there is that one. So this is, I just wanted to cover up the back. Super cute, right? I love that pack of paper, um, the patterns, but I wanted to be able to write a little something on there too. Okay, let's just scoop this guy. All right, so because this is little baby, I am going to use my little silicone mat. I'm gonna add our adhesive. And actually, I can probably just lay this right on top like that, right? Then, 
Just a couple more little details. I've got my linen thread here. And I'm just going to tie it onto my bow. Hello, Kathy. How are you? Hope you're having a great Friday. Okay. So we're just going to tie a little teeny tiny knot because I kind of don't even really want to see much of this linen thread. Um, I just want to add my little baby tag on. So can we get it? It's a whole lot easier when you're wearing your glasses, which I am not. <laughs> but that's okay. So I just kind of tucked that little... You could trim that off a little bit more, but just kind of tuck that back behind there like that. And then last step, I had to add, I was like, oh, I feel like it needs a little something else because as cute as that paper is, I wanted to add like a little sparkle or something. So I put um, a few, if you guys can see little pearls on there too. So we're gonna do that on this one. Let me grab my paper snip. So I just kind of randomly added them wherever I thought, you know, a pearl looked like it might kind of go. And every one of these is going to be a little bit different, which is okay. So I think I just added maybe like four or five of them. So just kind of, just like I said, to add a little sparkle. Do that one there. And one more. I'm going to do right there. There. So just adds a little something. Can you guys kind of see? Okay. So, and then, like I said, you can just teeny tiny like put a little something on the back there so there is project number one so cute love gift card holders right and there there it is opened up on the inside so you just put your gift card right inside there okay all right so that's one of our projects now all right let me scoot this stuff out of the way and our next one so that one was a little more simple this one is a little bit more detailed, but still, oh my gosh, this I love, okay? So we've got the little happy holidays. We did some die cutting right out of the designer series paper, add some of our wonderful gems and some of the white seam binding ribbon. And then this just opens up. I guess I need to use a little bit stronger adhesive. So I, I don't think I brought it over, but I would probably use your seal plus on the edges there. And then your gift card holder goes right inside there. <laughs> So this is a gift card from a friend of mine that we like to go to the Alma Brewing Company. Um, and so she gave me that gift card holder and it's up on my like window ledge in my kitchen because I haven't used it yet from September. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll have to go use that. But anyway, it, it fit inside there perfectly and it was a great example so you guys could see how the gift card holder works, right? Okay, so let me tell you about this one now, okay? So cute, isn't that awesome? I love the paper, just so sweet. There's just something about it. All, all the little elements together. Just love them. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's see. Let me kind of get everything out here. Oh, and the other thing I will tell you is, because I might forget if I don't do it right now, our Whisper White note cards. Well, the envelopes, this fits perfectly inside there. I think this was a project that I learned how to do last year from Rhonda Wade. Hey, Debbie, how are you? And she actually trimmed down the gift card or the, the mini note cards so that we could use them in this example. And then we'd have the envelope. So I just happen to have some extra envelopes for some reason. So, But I'll show you that these fit perfectly right inside our little mini note card and envelope envelopes right okay so just so you know that you can either use thick white cardstock and trim it down um, or you can use the note cards and do the same thing so let me show you i'm gonna i think i it looks like i already scored this one um so but i'll tell you how like dimensions and everything for all of these okay all right so the back piece is real red right and this one measures three and a half by five inches, okay? So that's our note card. Debbie, yes, you finally caught me live. Thank goodness, huh? I'm so glad you can be here live with us. Okay, so then this thick basic white cardstock measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters, okay? And actually, it looks like my notes say, I'm gonna go this way, because again, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So on the long side, the six and three quarters side, you score it at three and one quarter and at five and three quarters, 
okay? So if you can kind of see, probably not, right? Because <laughs> of the glare. But again, I've got two score marks. So the idea is it's gonna go like this and like this. So this thing, there. I was like, oh, all of a sudden I'm like worried it's not gonna fit. But this goes on there like this, right? And this is gonna fold, actually, maybe it'll, It'll show better like that. Okay, so that's gonna go there. This thing goes here, because you don't want it down too far, because otherwise your gift card holder falls inside. Then this piece of designer series paper goes right across the bottom there and kind of holds it in place. So this piece of DSP measures one and a half by four and three quarters. So again, that's gonna go right where that one is, all right? Then on the outside of this white piece, we've got a piece of old olive, that measures three inches by four and a half, and that's gonna fit right on there. And then another piece of designer series paper that measures two and three quarters by four and one quarter, and that's gonna go right on there. And then we're gonna do some stamping and some die cutting. Yes, I thought, yes, it is, you know, um, yeah, it is a great idea to use the note cards and envelopes for these gift card holders. Love that. And it's funny because I think it was a class, like I said, maybe a year, maybe even two years ago that I learned how to do. And these silly gift card holders, I've used a couple of them, but there are a few more that have been sitting on my craft table for, I think it's a year. I don't think it's been two years. But anyway, I, I was like looking at them. I'm like, oh, perfect idea to share with you guys now when we need gift card holders again. Plus, there's just something about this paper is so stinking cute. I just love it. Okay, so let's, I'm going to go ahead and put things together and then we'll do the little bit of die cutting that we need to do and kind of finish things off. So, okay, we are going to add some adhesive. I don't think that one worked very well. There we go. To our designer series paper. Okay, and then next we're actually going to tie a ribbon around because we want to tie this before we um, put it on the white piece. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you like it, Debbie. It's just so cute and simple and easy. And so, yeah, now I'm like, oh, I need more of this paper, like ASAP, so I can make some more gift card holders and take them for our craft fair. This is the problem. I get all excited about making all these things for the craft fair, and then <laughs> um, the schedule doesn't always allow quite as much crafting time as I would like, but we'll see what we can get done. I already was warning Lily, like, guess what? <laughs> Which she loves. So, well, hello, Vina. I'm glad you can join us today. Okay, so there, our little, that was the um, white crinkled seam binding ribbon. Okay, so we're just gonna add that on. Now, let's see, we can, I am gonna go grab my Seal Plus. Hold on one sec. <clears throat> because I think I really want to make sure that these things stay on here well. So this piece, yep, I'm just trying to make sure that I have this right. So we're going to put Stamp and Seal Plus on the back of this guy. Oops. And you know what? I have not used this very much, so I'm probably going to like make a mess of it. Look at that. I already did. I wonder if I can get it rolling again. Huh. Okay, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing wrong with that. Um, because I'm gonna um, confess that I still have um, <laughs> I still have fast views left. Isn't that ridiculous? So I've kind of still been using my fast views. This one is definitely the um, stamp and seal is definitely still sticky enough to be able to use. So that's what we're gonna do since I've made a mess of my seal plus. <laughs> okay, I'll get back to you on that one which maybe that's better because then if I don't get this right where I want it, I've got some time to move it. Okay, so we are gonna wanna put a little bit, I think I've got that off track there too. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna wanna put a little bit of adhesive here. You don't wanna go too far over because you still need to have the width here for your gift card holder. And the other thing is I kinda like to not make it super flat, so I let it kinda pop pop up or puff up just a little bit. So now we're gonna add some adhesive right here. We're gonna go all along the bottom here and then one more right there. And actually, I guess I did put it, it's funny, I don't know why I was 
um, thinking I didn't want it on the top, but I do. Okay, so putting a generous amount of adhesive on there so that it all stays down here when we put our gift card inside. Isn't that so? There's just something about that that just finishes that right off, don't you think? <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat there. There, okay. So then this is gonna go on here. I'm gonna do that in a sec because I wanna add everything on because I might need to shimmy this around a little bit. So, okay, we'll add that in just a sec. Now, let me show you, let's see, my designer series paper. Let's find what we need here, right? So what did I use? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is funny. In another class, we cut out the um, snowflakes. So I was like, oh, I gotta find a use for these um, little ornaments. So we're gonna die cut this ornament from the paper right here, and then we're gonna die cut that little guy and one of these little guys too. So I'm actually, I wanted to show you how it looked on the paper, but I am gonna kind of snip things here so that we can get what we need out of this paper too, okay. So I think we're gonna use that little circle. We've got that one there. And then I'm going to do that one right there. Hey, Tammy, how are you? I'm glad you can join us today. And let's see, what's on the back? Oh, the back is really pretty too. It's kind of a mess at this point with all my, um, like looks like cheese, right, die cutting, but so cute. This paper is just, I love, love, love it. And I haven't played with it that much. I think it's one of those, like I'm just falling in love with it now. Like, whoa, Amy, you kind of <laughs> maybe missed the boat a little bit on this one, but there's still time, right? Okay. And so the fun thing is our dies obviously work perfectly with, um, where are they now? Did I pull them out for something else? I think I did, but what the heck was it? Because where? No, they're right here. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. <laughs> I'm making something else with these, and I was in a panic of like, what did I do with them? Okay, so here we go. So we're going to use these babies right here. And the kind of fun thing, so obviously, let me show you everything that's included in here, right? So there's the outline of the ornament, and then the snowflake, the star, and the bell, and then these cute little pinwheels. That is if you want to die cut the peppermints. So right here, those three little peppermints, they've got it all set right there for you, which is very cool. Some super cute sentiments too, right? And then you can stamp these things also, right, and die cut. And then they've got the fun, you're the icing to my gingerbread, wishing you a Merry Christmas. We're using that happy holidays and then sending peppermint kisses. So I know what it is, we're making scrapbook pages too. That's why I'm like, I feel like I've used this a lot lately because I have. So then these are kind of fun and I have to point out because I don't know if you can see how they cut. They actually cut on the outside, which is different. Do you see? Let's see if you can kind of look at these two right here. This one cuts on the inside and then this one has the ridge on the outside. So it's kind of doing two different sizes or in this case, you get a little bit more of a border. Do you see around the little circles? You get a little bit more of a border around those guys, which is kind of fun, okay? So you could pick like this one um, has it on the inside and then that one is on the outside and that was on the outside. Those are all, those three are on the inside. So just kind of different. I haven't seen that. You can kind of tell there, right? Okay, so let's put these guys on and hope that things don't move. And if they do, I'll just find a way to cover up what didn't get cut quite the way I wanted to. There's always a fix for everything. Okay, so those all look good there. Don't move. Very carefully lay that down, kind of keep my fingers there. <laughs> Hope that helps. All right, there we go. And I think we, we did it. Isn't that so cool? Look at that. It's like we stamped it, but we didn't, right? So fun with the paper. So you guys kind of, ooh, that I cut that off. Oh, well, we'll cover that up. That's what I was saying, right? We'll figure that out. But do you see how it cuts around the outside edge? Oh, that's a really bad cut, but <laughs> that's okay. We will make it work. Let's put those right there. Okay, so we can get rid of this guy. And let's kind of finish things off. So we need, oh, I forgot to do my stamping. 
That's right. That's okay. We'll do that right now. Okay, so we've got our old olive ink pad. Just do our nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'm going to press straight down. Happy holidays. Love that font. Super cute little cursive font. Okay, so then from, these are also from the Pretty Pillow Box dies. I love all the labels. This one is super cute, and we're going to use that guy right there. So it makes fun pillow boxes, but then it also has all those labels in it too. Okay, so let's do this. On here and then we'll be able to put things together okay so we're gonna put that right down on there let's make sure we've got that all good okay <clears throat> cranking away here okay so you guys have to take a look at this because I love this one put stitching on it too can you guys see the little stitching on there also? So fun. All right, now do we need, I think I put everything on dimensional, so I'm just gonna do that like that. All right, so we've got one dimensional there, one there. We'll put a couple on here. We're gonna do one on here, and I'm gonna do a baby one on here because I'm gonna have to kind of wedge that <laughs> part that didn't get cut quite right. Okay, so that's what we're trying to make it look like. And we've got this piece right here. Okay, so we're going to put our ornament on. I think that, that bow looks like it's going to be okay. Okay, so we're going to put our ornament right there. We're going to do this one and this one. So we're going to do it backwards we're going to cover up that little circle we're going to do that one there see you can't even tell right and then we're going to add our happy holidays sentiment i, think I kind of like that tucked right back underneath there there we go okay now we're going to add some adhesive to put this on the front i haven't been as good lately you guys i've got a Tip it back. You can see how when I don't do it quite right, then I have to go back and pick it up again. So run it, tip it back. I'm trying to go too fast. I think, and I think I might have it, you know, we're just gonna go the whole way. Um, I think it might be off kilter a little bit, probably from a previous boo-boo. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, last little bit. You know me and the bling, right? So we're gonna add a couple of red wonderful gems which I think we just gave away on our last week's Facebook live just gonna put a couple of these right on those parts right there so what do you guys think aren't these so I love love these gift card holders and then here's this one right here too right aren't they so cute so you go go do your shopping get your gift cards and you can put them in these cute little gift card holders that you can make now. <laughs> yes, yeah, so cute and easy. Thank you, Philomena. I appreciate that. So as always, ladies, we've got our host code, the A2ZENBST. If you put an online order in of at least $30, you're going to get one of each of these gift card holders as a thank you from me. Make sure you use that host code. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win the Welcoming Woods super beautiful, awesome stamp set. If if you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are the holiday rhinestones this month. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, we're going to have to say happy Thanksgiving right now, aren't we? And we'll see you next Friday after Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys all have a wonderful, relaxing, cozy, warm Thanksgiving with friends and family. Um, and yeah, just get to celebrate and be thankful for all of our blessings. So thank you guys. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Bye everybody.